All right, my friends, so a lot of us have a, or have been thinking about possibly buying one of the new MacBooks or Mac Minis or MacBook Airs, MacBook Pros, whatever, with the M1 processor in it. But one of the things that has kind of stopped us or kind of hindered us from kind of making that jump was we may have a piece of software or a couple of pieces of software that require Windows. And that's one of the nice things with the old chipset, well, Intel, was that you and I could run Parallels or VMware or Boot Camp or anything like that to get Windows to run properly on it. Yesterday, I received an email from Parallels saying that, hey, here it is right here. We are very excited to inform you about the launch of Parallels Desktop 16 for M1 Mac Technical Preview Program. Available for download now. Follow the link below to register and you'll be the first to try Parallels. And I was like, all right, cool. So let's get started. So the idea here, of course, is that you and I can see if this actually works. So I'm hoping I remember what all my information is. I'm kind of guessing here. All right, welcome to Parallels. Yep, meet the new Parallels, check what you need. It says you need a Mac computer with an M1 chip. Yep, ARM, good, review, review limitations. As this is a new virtual engine, there are both some fundamental technical limitations related to the Intel platform and some temporary limitations due to work in progress. I get it, right? It is not possible to use the close button when a virtual machine is running. Shut down the machine instead. ARM32 applications do not work in a virtual machine. But the key is, is here is that this, this should hopefully function. So we're going to download this right now. And I'm going to hit the download button. And... uh 292 megs is what it's saying. So we're gonna wait for this to come down. It says 20 seconds, so not that bad. And uh, we're gonna fire this up. It's kind of exciting. All right, so here's the download here. Parallels desktop. Technical preview. And I'm gonna go through this install real fast. So install. Yeah, open. It should be just like any other version of Parallels, I would think that we have to go through the install. It's gonna make us download uh, a copy of Windows, of course. If you have a license for that, even better. If you don't, you can just use it unlicensed. You'll get that little, this is not a registered version. Okay. Virtual machine is not available. The virtual machine's files have been moved or deleted. I'm gonna remove that one. All right, so here we go, installation assistant. Okay, your Mac computer is powered by the Apple M1 chip. Yep, existing virtual machines created on Intel based cannot work. That's fine, so we're gonna continue. Cause I did have, I did a restore from an old one. So what happens is all of those virtual machines came over as well, which of course didn't work. We have to, we have to install new. Okay, so the first thing that I, well, I, I realize now, I didn't realize before, is that you need, it seems, like a very specific version of Windows to be able to install. So it needs an ARM-based version. So, of course, all the versions that I had downloaded already were Intel-based. So I had to go and look for an ARM version. So here, you can see it on my computer, I had to go to the Windows Insider uh, preview to be able to get a Windows 10 on ARM Insider Preview. So just kind of be aware, you have to be a Windows Insider to be able to get this. Now, I don't know if this is something that anybody can sign up for, you possibly can. I've been a Windows Insider for the last decade. Not that I've used it very often, but I have it. And, and because of that, I'm able to download that right now. So I am downloading the Windows 10 uh, for ARM and uh, it's still got another two hours, so I got I to gotta sit tight and wait. For you guys, of course, it'll happen happen right away. But just realize that if you want to get this for your M1, you are, at this point in time, as far as I can tell, going to need to be a Windows Insider member. I, I don't think it costs anything. And uh, then, you can, then you can get it. All right, guys, I'll be back once this finishes. All right, guys, so it's it's been about two hours, so it, it was pretty much on track. But... We have it downloaded here, so I'm just gonna bring it up. Um, and I'm gonna close out of Chrome here. And the hope is that, yeah, see, it automatically found it. So once I downloaded it, it says, oh, we, we found the proper version. So it is now starting the install phase. So it is using that ARM version of Windows to install. So it looks like it's gonna install fairly quickly. I'm gonna close some of this in the background here just to 
shut it down. My licenses. Uh, so activate parallels. This is where you're going to have that on your actual email from parallels if you're able to actually do this. Pretty sure I have that here. I actually took a screenshot of it, so that that's kind of smart if you if you need to. Now it may have been actually smarter to copy and paste it, but it is what it is. I'll see if I can type this in here. Hold on, I got a, I got a check mark, so that's that's excellent. I'm always a little worried when uh, I have to I have to do my own typing. All right, and I got a, It's currently been successfully activated. All right. Configuring Windows, this, this is good, this is good. So far so good. And we're, we're gonna sit back and wait. So 11.31 right now, we'll see how long this takes. All right, hold on. Okay, so just so you know, it seems to just progress really slow and then it does a big jump where it says installing the latest version of Parallels Toolbox or Tools. Actually, the, the Toolbox from Parallels, I use a lot. I actually quite quite enjoy that part. And I kind of wish you could just buy that part by itself for maybe a little less money. Maybe you can, I don't know. But I, I, I like the tool, the toolkit. Now on a side note, how I got the email from Parallels is that I have been a Parallels user previously. And of course, when uh, you go looking on Parallels website for version for the M1, there was an area that was like, would you like to stay updated so that you can hear current news on the development of Parallels for the M1 ship? And I was like, yes, please. And because of that, I got this invitation so I can actually play with it ahead of time, which is, which is super awesome. So now we're just waiting for it to finish its install. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys can do that too. Just again, go to Parallels website, look for that and, and see if they have a, a mail out. Oh, looks like Windows 10. We've got a Windows 10 screen. Is it booting? Is it starting? Be the first, first, first install, first start. There's a fair bit of, I don't know if you see these little flickers up here, and I think that's the computer and web access. Hi, all right. It's configuring right now, so that's, that's good. Um, and I do believe this is web access probably, as well as basically your computer activity. You get the little flashing lights so you can actually see that just like a Windows computer normally does, see hard drive activity. But we'll see how long this takes. So it started at around 11.31 and it's 11.36 right now. So not bad, so about five minutes. That's after, of course, you install the actual or download the Windows for ARM. So it'll give you guys some idea if you can go for a coffee while this is happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang tight. Almost there, almost there. Voila, look at that. Setting up device, we're setting up your FaceTime HD camera. Very cool. Device is ready, virtual mouse is set up and ready to go. Device is ready, FaceTime HD. Windows Insider program, cool, all, all good. And I think if we just take this and go full screen, enter full screen with this, right? There we go. Now, if you've never ever used uh, like Windows on here, especially for those of us that use a Mac all the time, I'm gonna just close this down here. Um, the the toolbox up here, which is which is this one here, I'll just try this for now because I have a key, but whatever. You can do things like here, like hide your desktop files, which is actually really nice. You can click this, which they hide here, but also what it usually means is that they'll hide here as well, which is great. So if you don't want this all cluttered because you are you use the desktop really heavily on the Mac side, then, then you're fine. You'll see that there's Mac files, right? So you just tap that and all your Mac files will open up. So that's kind of nice. Here we go. And it's it seems to be running nice and smooth, right? You can come up and down. My internet access should be working okay. We'll bring up just Internet Explorer just to make sure. Yep, that's working. Close all tabs. Yep, we're good. And there may be and there may be some issues here with some software. Again, this is this is kind of a a pre-release version, so there's going to be some differences. But for the most part, we're we're good, right? I wonder if we bring up Task Manager just to see more details, right? And on this machine right here, 
right out of the gate, 8% CPU, 62% memory. So this is one thing that I would, I would recommend. Now, uh, I have a 16 gig version of the Mac that's supposed to be arriving today, and I'm gonna end up giving the eight bit, not giving, returning the eight gig version because I bought the 16. But this is where you'll see here memory, right? 62% memory being used. This has eight gigs. And one of the things you actually have to remember if you're gonna be running two operating systems is that you now have two operating systems running off of eight gigs. So this is probably gonna be a big one for us wanting a 16 gig version, virgin version, if you're gonna be doing this. But it works, like it, it works really well. Uh, everything opens, closes, good. Uh, how fast is it? You know what? We're kind of in beta phase right now, but I'm, I'm very pleased. Like I said, everything seems to be seems to be working good. I'm not going to play any games on this right now, but I'm sure I'm sure you could. Here's Microsoft Office. So if you're someone that needs to run Office on here for whatever reason, right? Here you go. Office is popping up. Welcome to it. Create a free account. I can sign in right here just to see how it works. There we go, right? I got Office on here. This is Office for, I think, I don't know if this is full version Office. I haven't used it. I guess it probably is. Michael, do you want to open this with? Doesn't really matter. Oh, it's like a web version of it. But, boom. You know what? This is, this is a great, for one, this is a great first step for all of us that are like, Oh, you can't run Windows on the M1 version of the Mac or the Apple Silicon version of the Mac. Well, we're seeing now that 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 not that may not be true because well, it's definitely not true. It's here right now, running the Photos app. Bring it up. All right, close you down. There's the calendar app opening up. Right? Is it going to be as fast as normal? Probably not. Are there going to be some issues? Yeah, probably. It's everything's in beta right now. Even even the version of Windows for ARM is kind of in a beta pre-release version. So is it going to be perfect? No, but what we need to understand is we're going to get there. So for those of us that require Windows, I would say hang tight, be patient. Don't be giving up your Windows computer right now if you have one because you're like, oh, I can just run it all here. Ah, hold on. It's, it's functioning. Is it running great? No. Is there a lot of things that seem to open and then just close again? Yes. Uh, so try it out. Maybe it does everything you need it to do. And that's great. For me, I can already see some software that's just, it opens and closes. It just says no. Because both parallels, like I said, are in beta. And this is a pre-release version of the ARM version of, of Windows. So, but it's great to see that, that we're getting there. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I wanted you guys to see that this is Windows running on, a, on an M1. Oh, yeah. Very cool. All right, my friends, uh, leave your comments below. Let me know if you guys have tried this, if you're running it, what kind of experiences you're, you're having with it, what's the performance like, um, and uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys uh, next video. Oh yeah, hit the little bell, here it is. Later, my friends. All right, guys, so uh, I just, I didn't wanna finish the video just as it was, or uh, I just wanted to add a little bit, I guess, to the video. And I've been playing my MacBooks right here. I've been playing with this now all all day just to see uh, how it is. And I'm going to say that it's kind of cool to play with it just to see how it's working. But I definitely wouldn't be using it right now as anything that I'm depending on. It is just it's full of bugs. And I've been, it's been asking me to send bug reports constantly, whatever, it kind of goes down. And I've sent a, a good chunk of them today. Um, so it's it's early in development. Just kind of be aware of that. Uh, will it be better? Yeah, for sure. Uh, and, and in both regards, I would think the ARM version of Windows will get better and the Parallels version for ARM will get better. Uh, are we heading in the right direction? Most definitely. Will this be something I think that is hopefully usable in the next couple months? Possibly, I would say by spring or summer, I think we, we should we should be close. But this is like almost like a beta version one right now. So just kind of be aware of that if you're interested in getting this. Um, it's it's buggy without question, but great first step. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Later.